I, I'm very humbled that we're coming up on our 20th anniversary and it doesn't seem like we've been around that long but all that we've accomplished in those 20 years is just very very rewarding and I still can remember starting out with Ron and Elias and deciding that we wanted to break out on our own and that we could do this and uh, we've grown and developed over the years and we've added a tremendous number of people to our team and if you take a look at and hear the stories from our customers and see people smiling in the morning and excited to come to work it is just a tremendous opportunity to have that experience. The leadership at Pacific gets it and they impart that knowledge and that information through their you know, training programs and giving the, the crews who are on site doing the work, giving them the credit. Uh, and, you know, they're the ones that are there doing the work every day and, and it shows and, and it matters. We, we talk about our culture being one of the keys to our success. And when we talk about our culture, I mean, you have to go a little deeper and find out what exactly it is. And I really believe that it's our employee appreciation. I really believe that an employee that feels appreciated will always do more. I love the people I work with. Um, we're respectful of one another. We have fun. It's kind of, we're, it's like my second family. It's my home away from home. We're a growing company. We have three branches. Um, we have quite a few employees. It did start off with just three guys in a truck, and I feel like in that growth, they haven't lost their um, their commitment to their employees and treating everybody individually, knowing everybody's name, caring about them and their families. We do barbecues for the guys every other week. The managers all cook for these for the guys that come in. They, they sit down, they eat and they go home and then we stay and we clean up. We also have the uh, company picnic and that's in the summer of every year. We will bring their families uh, and we'll have music and food and uh, some sport related activities. We also put together for the last two years uh, a Hood to Coast team. It's, a, it's 12 uh, employees that uh, run 199 miles uh, and it's, it's a relay. Pacific must be doing something right as far as retaining employees because as I've worked with them for the past nine years, not only the account managers, but the team that is boots on the ground are still the same guys. These are people. These are our partners. They have families. They are here to support themselves and they're here to enhance their careers. So we do a lot of things that work in and around enhancing our team, helping them have opportunity and helping them grow. We have a, a crew meeting every Thursday and also they give us a training about the, um, the work they need to do in that week, like pruning, stuff like that, fertilizing, uh, pesticide. Next week we have um, yeah, uh, training for get a pesticide license as well. So it's, it's a good opportunity to grow and up in this industry. We are encouraged to get our certifications. Um, they give us the time, they even will pay for it. Um, so when it comes to education, it's, it's internal, and then it's on, also we're encouraged to seek it out and try to bring the new stuff to the company and then share it. Every day is a learning opportunity, so I want to embrace that. Um, and I think we work with a great group of people with different backgrounds and um, different knowledge sets. Everything is really good to work here. We have a lot of opportunities. They are constantly in communication with us. Um, we don't have to wonder where things stand or whether something's getting done or whether something's not. Um, one of the things that, that my account managers have put into place this year is they send me um, pictures of every single thing that's being done on the property. Uh, so, but I don't have to take the drive out there to make sure that the work's been done. Um, they're, they're proactively making sure that I stay informed. It's, it's really about the communication. Um, 
and and I think that word gets thrown out a lot, communication. Please communicate with me. But it, it you say it, but you have to mean it, and you have to actually do it, and, and they do. We are constantly um, driving our properties um, and communicating um, any landscape-related issues, but other property um, issues that we may come across. I also find that using communication tools like pictures help a lot in terms of conveying your ideas um, or the solutions for any issues that come up. And one of the things that I have seen from Pacific Landscape that they excel at is their client communication. Uh, at 4 a.m., um, Josh, Artemio, uh, they're on the emails, on the text, sending photos, and reaching out to us so that we know that our day can start and that things are gonna be safe. I, you know, I, I've worked with, I, I think, every every area manager that, that Pacific has, and you develop a friendship and a relationship. One of the things that's been really rewarding for our team is customers will call occasionally and say, oh my gosh, I have this crisis, and you probably can't and whatever follows that doesn't really matter what it is, that, that they just laid down the challenge of we can be heroic when they say you probably can't. They're often out there more than we are, and so we they know that they are our eyes and ears, and they report that back to us, and and we depend on that. Um, you know, maybe we shouldn't, but we end up, we end up really counting on um, them keep kind of keeping an eye on things for us, and I tell other vendors that all the time, that that is, the model that I would like to see. We worked with a customer a couple of years ago to help him out of a, a tremendous bind, and uh, she said, hey, I got a present for you, I gotta bring it by. And she came by, she brought by this green hornet, and I thought, what's that all about? He goes, oh, I've named you the green hornet because you are my savior, you're a superhero, and this seems so appropriate because you take care of everything green.